as one of the few bee beer demonstrators in North America, John Jabel, president of the Honey Bee Center, has worked extensively in the film industry providing bees for movies. He says he decided to bring his bees out into the public to showcase just how gentle these animals really are. Another purpose of the bee beer demonstration is to teach people how important bees are in food production as they provide cross-pollination to more than 100 food crops that will bear fruit only if their flowers are cross-pollinated by bees between two different varieties. And I've attached just a little a vial of orientation pheromone that attracts the bees to the queen cage, that attracts the other bees to the queen cage. That's it, that's all I want to start with. Yeah. So to get the bees on, bees are attracted to light. Bees have five eyes, three light sensing eyes at the top of their head and then the two compound eyes for, for motion. So we just tilt the cardboard down to the front and the bees naturally walk up and toward the light. So you can see them going right up, right away towards the uh, queen cage and then they form a, a cluster on the queen cage and on their shirt. And we'll turn him in just a second. Without the bees on the cardboard and you can feel the weight. In all, about 1,500 bees are released onto James, who said he could feel the heat from the bees as well as the flapping of their wings that provided a breeze. Food security is probably the number one issue with governments in the entire world and bees are at the forefront currently.